Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Big news coming out uh, with the sport's biggest star, Canelo Alvarez. Uh, is Shies away from a fight, right? After he lost to Laura, he came back. He fought Angulo, uh, you know, tough guy. Then he said he wanted to fight Laura. And, and Oscar and, and Golden Boy told him, no, no, I don't want to make that fight. You probably can't beat him. And Canelo's like, no, make the fight anyway. Um, and, you know, Canelo got away with robbery in that one. I mean, probably lost the fight, but got a very, very beneficial decision. But the one is Canelo just fights who he wants. Um, and, and now he's going after Caleb Plant. And that's the one guy. And I, look. Canelo's pound for pound the best guy in the sport. He proved that when he beat Kovalev, jumping up two weight classes. Now he's coming down a weight class to 168 to fight the best guy at 168, in my estimation, which is Caleb Plant. Um, so Canelo could certainly win that fight. It, it, it's hard to bet against Canelo as far as, as he's come. And he's progressed really, really well. Um, but Caleb Plant, boy, that guy is slick. He's got enough pop. He's a mover. I mean... This is a really tough fight. If this fight happens, and it looks like December 19th is what they're negotiating for. There's nothing official, so I don't want anyone thinking that. The fight's not made. It's not done. Um, but this is a heck of a fight. This is a heck of a fight. And I think it's, if I could make any fight for Canelo, right, just as a fan, Canelo versus who is the best fight I to, to see as a spectator, right? Canelo versus who? Canelo versus Plant. This is... High level boxing at its best, right? Um, and I'm gonna pick Caleb Plant. And I'm not saying Canelo can't win. Canelo can certainly win. But this is a fight. I don't love the way Canelo fights against movers, against really high level boxers. And it's been a, a, a while since he's fought a mover. The Lauras, the Trouts, um, Mayweather. Obviously, I mean, no one looks good against Mayweather. But it's been a while since he's fought a guy who can move and box and is a true, true slickster. Uh, and Caleb Plant is that guy. Caleb Plant is a master boxer, a master technician. Um, it is really, really difficult to win rounds with Caleb Plant. Now, it, Canelo is that good. Canelo can work him to the body. Canelo can track him down. Canelo can make him miss. But this is high-level boxing at its best. So if this fight gets made, guys, this is, this is phenomenal. Um, Canelo said he wants to fight this year. You know, that fight would only be about five or six weeks away. That is big news. Um, th that would be the best fight this year in my estimation. Um, probably better than Lopez and, and Loma, um, which I thought was, you know, a great fight, which was one of the best fights I thought I could make. But this tops that probably. Um, Caleb Plant is a proven commodity. Like I said, I think the best 168 pounder in the world. And, and Canelo is the best 160 pounder who went up to 175. I know he fought Rocky Fielding at 160, but we don't count that here. Okay, Rocky Fielding, 
pass. So we don't really count that at, at, at 160. So he went from 160 going over 175 and now coming back to 68. Canelo ain't afraid. Canelo ain't afraid. And I want to get into that because he's walking away from about $300 million of guaranteed money. Now, there was issues and negotiations. Um, the zone wanted him to fight his promoter, literally fight his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, or, or two UFC guys. That never came. Canelo wasn't interested in that, obviously. Um, he wanted to fight the best names out there. Um, so he's walking away from the guaranteed $35 million per fight. That's hard to do, guys. Think of what I just said. He's walking away from $35 million guaranteed per fight. And now he's betting on himself. He's betting, if I just sell me, I can make more than that. And maybe he can. Pay-per-views are going for 75 bucks now, at least. Um, if he can sell close to a million because he's a star now, he probably can do that with the right opponent. And he can probably do 500000 600000 against not such a great opponent. Um, he can make that money back and possibly some more on the back end. You know, it, it's it's a risk because the money's not guaranteed, but he has a potential to make even more upside. It's like the guy who gives away the guaranteed portion of his income to increase his uh, commission structure, right? I'm going to make more commission, but I'll make some more, a lesser base pay. What does that guy believe in? That guy believes in himself. And that's what we have here with Canelo. Canelo believes in himself. So this is big news. And he's going right for the jugular here. right? He's going right for the – which I think is the best guy at 168. You know, what I would love to see Canelo do is fight um, Caleb at 168 and then fight Charlo at 160 or 168. Maybe he can make Charlo come up to 168. Um, Jamal Charlo. That, I think, is the best plan. That's the course of action I would love to see. Um, and I think it's realistic now. So what a lot of people are saying, and, and I want to just put it, he's no longer contractually obligated to zone either. He can fight on zone, and I, I think they'll make him an interesting offer. Um, I, I don't know how that would work because it's not a pay-per-view model. But um, he, he can fight anywhere he wants. He can sign wherever he wants. I don't think he signs with any net. I don't think he signs with any promoter. I don't think he signs with top rank or matchroom or anywhere. I I really don't. I think he promotes himself. I think he starts, you know, Canelo promotions or something along those lines, and he picks the fights he wants. There's no reason why a guy with Canelo, with his stardom and his appeal, needs a promoter. He can do it himself. He's get a lawyer to, to, to file all the paperwork and, and dot the I's and cross the T's and you know the legal stuff. And just sell yourself and pick the best fights that you want to fight. And, and he does that. He doesn't duck and dodge anybody. You can say what you want about Canelo. He ain't afraid. <laughs> he ain't afraid. Uh, that is a real good sign. Um, and it's a real good trait to have in the pound for pound best boxer in the sport. Um, and he's going right at the Caleb Plant. Um, you know, and, and he's going to have fights if he promotes himself. He's going to have fights where he makes more than thirty five million, I would imagine, and he's going to have fights where he makes less than thirty five million. So, I mean, he's going to be betting on himself here. I like what he's doing here. I like that they were able to do this quickly and amicably. Um, they didn't have to go to the court system. They didn't have to go to you know the legal system. You know they they settled it. I guess it was an arbitration, or, or maybe it was just amongst lawyers. Um, but they got it done, and I think boxing is better off for it because we're going to get the biggest star in the sport, Canelo Alvarez, fighting all the best guys. You know he doesn't have to just fight guys on the zone. Slash Golden Boy, you know the matchroom slash Golden Boy on the zone side. He can fight whoever he wants, and he's going right after a PBC guy. And maybe he comes back after this and fights Andre. Who knows, right? He can fight whoever he wants, wherever he wants. So this is big news. This is big news. Um, but I, I'm hoping my personal choice his next two fights would be Caleb Plant and Charlo. Caleb Plant and Jamal Charlo. That's what I'm hoping for. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in, in, in the comments. Who would you like to see him fight next? If you had your druthers, you could pick anyone you want at 60 or 68. Let's put 75 to the side right now. I don't think, you know, he, he vacated that belt for a reason. 60 or 68, 
who would you like to see Canelo fight next? And then immediately after that, because um, I think he's going to fight in December and then fight again in, in, on May 4th, but we'll see. Um, those are the fights I want. I mean, th- there's so much talent at 60 and 68. Benavides is going to be another name that people want to see him with. And I think we'll get that at some point. Um, but let me know what you guys think. And is this insane for Canelo, right? To walk away from all that guaranteed money, all of that guaranteed, $35 million a fight, which he's guaranteed um, to, to go and do this. Is that insane for him to do it? Or do you think it's a smart move? Do you think he'll make more in the long run, right? Betting on himself, getting the, the getting the cut of the pay per view. Will he make more than thirty five million? Because he could, but he needs the right dance partner for that. Because thirty five million is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. What I also want to address is, um, it, this sucks for boxing fans because now you're going to have to pay seventy five, eighty bucks, whatever it is, for every one of his fights. Whereas with the zone subscription, you were paying a hundred dollars for the year. So now, on top of all the PBC pay per views, now you got to buy two more Canelo pay per views. It's starting to add up, guys. I mean, this model has to go away. The pay per view model, I, I don't, I, I don't know if it can sustain much longer. It's doing two hundred thousand buys pay per view for the Davis fight, one twenty for the Charlo double header. I just don't know if this model is sustainable. We'll see. Um, Canelo had a big. The day he, the first time he fought on the zone, the Rocky Fielding fight, the most searched app was the zone. The Canelo drawing power is real, um, so he can sell these pay per views. But I, I just don't know if that model really is sustainable anymore. Um, it'll be interesting to see if he can still do a million pay per views. He might be able to. I, I, I think he can with the right dance partner. But you're looking at another hundred and fifty dollars a year for two pay per views on top of. <laughs> Seventy-five dollars a month. PBC is now asking you for. Um, it seems like a lot. That that model doesn't seem sustainable anymore. Um, they're gonna have to work something out to lower the price of these things. Look, because boxing fans, look, we're not golf fans, right? We're, we're, we're not country club people. We have a budget. Um, but again, I, I I think for the sport of boxing, this is good. Canelo versus whoever he wants and he wants only the best it's going to get it's going to it's going to net us the best fight so i'm into this i'm excited to see this i'm really excited about the Kayla Plant Canelo fight um but let me know if you guys have any questions about the legality of the contract i, I understand it pretty well um he had two lawsuits one with golden boy one with the zone he said settle with both of them um the zone tried to buy him out with some stock and ahead of an ipo right some ownership in the company um I think we all saw that that was a sinking ship, so that wasn't going to fly. Um, so now Canelo's on his own. Canelo's a free agent. This is big, guys. Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please feel free to ask me any questions. I'll, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, find me all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, find my article on uh, FightPost.UK. And uh, find me, Robbie from UK, and Matt the Hipster Hunter on MCR Podcast on YouTube. From Texas to the world, thank you and God. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.